Try to remain calm, but we've gotten word that Fallout 4 is happening at last. Publisher Bethesda has revealed the highly anticipated next entry in its post-apocalyptic RPG series with this trailer. So what can we learn from this detail-rich three-minute mood setter? Please stand by. Fallout 4 is set in Boston. A Boston setting was the most persistent rumour in the run-up to this reveal, and the trailer confirms that the new Fallout will take place in and around the remains of Boston, Massachusetts, thanks to the appearance in the trailer of notable landmarks such as the Paul Revere statue, the Bunker Hill Monument, the Massachusetts State House, Scully Square, and Old Ironsides herself, the USS Constitution, which has apparently been fitted with jet engines because the 1950s? We also get a look at Fenway Park Baseball Stadium, once the home of the Boston Red Sox, now a baseball-themed shantytown called Diamond City that includes a custom baseball bat shop, a general store, a drug store, and a noodle stand because everyone eventually gets sick of sugar bombs. We do have coming in confirmed reports of nuclear detonations. There are just enough story hints in the Fallout 4 trailer for us to begin rampantly speculating about what's going on. There's an unprecedented look at pre-apocalypse America in the trailer. It's enough for us to suspect that there could be a playable pre-war section in the game that ends with you taking a nuke to the face Call of Duty style. These are all in-game assets. Would Bethesda have gone to the trouble of making all this for the trailer if they didn't appear in the game in some way? Hmm. This is the moment the bombs drop and we finally get to see what that looked like. It's all panicked families evacuating and trying to get into the vaults and getting stopped by the US military in their suits of power armor. Grim. You play one of the lucky ones who does get to live in a vault. That vault is Vault 111 with its fancy vertical elevator. There are no clues as to what particular sociological experiment was going on in Vault 111. My guess would be something horrible because all vault experiments are something horrible. Sign up now and prepare for the future. We know from Fallout 3 that Vault 112 was the vault that contained the Tranquility Lane simulation and that it was the last vault to be finished. So it's possible that Vault 111 is also one of the later, swankier vaults which could explain the elevator. Previous games in the series have told us a bit about Boston in the world of Fallout. The area previously known as Massachusetts is now known as the Commonwealth and contains The Institute, formerly the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a high-tech organization capable of producing human-like androids. So look forward to that, Blade Runner fans. Wait, I've got it. Everyone in Vault 111 is an android but doesn't know it. Nailed it. The three-minute Fallout 4 reveal trailer was created in-game at Bethesda Game Studios, so we can consider it somewhat representative of the graphical fidelity and art style of the actual game. With that in mind, Fallout 4 looks to have brighter, more varied, and more richly coloured environments than the wasteland of Fallout 3. But don't worry, there is still quite a lot of blasted brown landscape though. I mean, this is the post-apocalypse. Question, what's more terrifying than a Fallout 3 Deathclaw? Answer, a Fallout 4 Deathclaw. I mean, look at this guy. The trailer tells us familiar enemies such as Deathclaws and ghouls will be waiting to chew our faces off in Fallout 4. But then harmless, friendly, bovine mutant Brahmins make a return as well, so that's nice. You can also spot a Protectron wandering around in this junkyard. Fallout 4 seems to be sticking to the familiar when it comes to weaponry if these glimpses from the trailer are anything to go by. There's a scoped rifle, what looks like a laser rifle hanging up in your workshop, and a grenade box, along with a minigun covered with a sheet because no one likes a dusty minigun. Flying vehicles are given prominence as well. We see several vertibirds plus an impressive airship. Could this be a sign we'll get access to vehicles in Fallout 4, or will these just be explorable interiors? Or could this be a new method of fast travel? Time will tell, but I'm all for it if it means I have to spend less time trying to circle strafe down a mountain before plunging to my death. Like a Tony Stark of the Wasteland, the lead character of Fallout 4 appears to have co-opted this Red Rocket gas station as a workshop for building some Brotherhood of Steel power armor. If that Mr. Handy in bits on the floor is called Jarvis, we're gonna lose it. Given that you couldn't walk for five minutes in Fallout 3 without tripping over some power armor that you didn't have the training to wear yet, there has to be a reason why you're building your own. Could we be looking at customizable power armor, or is the Brotherhood simply not as established in Fallout 4's time or location? <laughs> Other gear in your hideout includes a selection of weaponry and a rack full of skill magazines such as Grognak the Barbarian and Guns and Bullets, as seen in Fallout 3. There's also a poster here divided into the special ability categories. It appears to be a list of 70 individual perks, and after squinting at it for a good half an hour, we can definitely exclusively confirm that the Grim Reaper's Sprint perk will be back in Fallout 4. The things we do for you. 
Finally, the very end of the trailer has our nameless protagonist utter three words, instantly making him the wordiest Fallout hero in recent memory. Let's go, pal. Could this be a sign that we're going to get a fully voiced character in Fallout 4? I don't know about you, but he sounds to me a bit like Troy, I do the voice of everyone Baker, and if you did get him involved, you'd want him to do as much talking as possible, if it is him which it probably isn't. Let's go, pal. Still, we've only seen the male protagonists so far. Here's hoping Bethesda gave Jennifer Hale a call as well to voice the lady alternative. So that was what we got from the Fallout 4 announcement trailer. Did you spot something we miss? Let us know in the comments. There's no release date yet because they've got to save something for E3, come on. But word on the street is Fallout 4 could come out as early as this year. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe for more Fallout 4 from outside Xbox very soon.